Hello, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Wednesday, October the 11th, and today we celebrate the life and ministry of John the 23rd. Here is the commentary from the wiki. Pope John was elected on 28 October 1958. He called the Second Vatican Council, but did not live to see its completion. He died in 1963, only four and a half years after his election. Born Angelo Giuseppe Roncalli on the 25th of November of 1881, in Soto il Monte, a small country village in the Bergamo province of the Lombardy region of Italy. His family worked as sharecroppers, as did most of the people of Soto il Monte. In 1904, Roncalli was ordained a priest in the Catholic Church of Santa Maria in Monte Santo in Rome. In 1905, Giacomo Radini Tadishi, the new bishop of Bergamo, appointed Roncalli as his secretary. During World War I, Roncalli was drafted into the Royal Italian Army as a sergeant, serving in the medical corps as a stretcher bearer and as a chaplain. After being discharged from the army in 1919, he was named spiritual director of the seminary. In 1935, he was made apostolic delegate to Turkey and Greece. Runcali used this office to help the Jewish underground in saving thousands of refugees in Europe, leading some to consider him to be a righteous Gentile. In 1944, during World War II, Pope Pius XII named him Apostolic Nuncio to France. In this capacity, he had to negotiate the retirement of bishops who had collaborated with the German occupying power. In 1953, he was appointed the Patriarch of Venice, and accordingly he was raised to the rank of Cardinal Priest of Santa Prisa by Pope Pius XII. Following the death of Pius XII in 1958, Roncalli was elected Pope, to his great surprise. He had even arrived in the Vatican with a return train ticket to Venice. After the long pontificate of Pius XII, the Cardinals chose a man who, it was presumed because of his advanced age, would be a short term or a stopgap Pope. On 25 December of 1958, he became the first pope since 1870 to make pastoral visits in his diocese of Rome, when he visited children infected with polio at the Bambino Gesù Hospital, and then visited Santo Spirito Hospital. The following day, he visited Rome's Regina Celi Prison, where he told the inmates, You could not come to me, so I came to you. These acts created a sensation, and he wrote in his diary, Great astonishment in the Roman, Italian, and international press. I was hemmed in on all sides, authorities, photographers, prisoners, wardens. His frequent habit of sneaking out of the Vatican late at night to walk the streets of the city of Rome earned him the nickname Johnny Walker, a pun on the whiskey brand name. Far from being a mere stopgap pope, to great excitement, John called an ecumenical council fewer than 90 years after the First Vatican Council. Cardinal Montini remarked to a friend that this holy old boy doesn't realize what a hornet's nest he's stirring up. From the Second Vatican Council came changes that reshaped the face of Catholicism a comprehensively revised liturgy, a stronger emphasis on ecumenism, and a new approach to the world. From his early teens, he maintained a diary of spiritual reflections that was subsequently published as Journal of a Soul. The collection of writings charts from Kali's efforts as a young man to grow in holiness and continues after his election to the papacy and it remains widely read. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who is called the Prince of Peace, who is yourself our peace and reconciliation, who so often said peace to you, grant us peace. Make all men and women witnesses of truth, justice, and brotherly love. Banish from their hearts whatever might endanger peace. Enlighten our rulers, that they may guarantee and defend the great gift of peace. May all peoples of the earth become as brothers and sisters. May longed-for peace blossom forth and reign always over us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.